Hey, this is Ken over at the Veterans History Museum of the Carolinas, and we got something special for you today. This is curator Tom Bagala. Tom Bagala, what have we got going on right here? Well, we reconfigured Brownie to fire live rounds. Now, what so are we talking about look there? in the box, there's our belt. Now, these are called uh, disintegrating links. In World War II, they used cotton belts. Brownie likes using the disintegrating links. She might have had some kind of a modification done in Israel or whatever. I don't know. But I know she likes using the, the metal links. All right. So that what we're going to do is we're going to take our starter tab right there, feed it in. I'm going to pull my first round in as far as I can. And it picked it up, picked she's, up my first round. She's ready to go then, isn't so she? Now I'm ready to go. We have a target down range. Now, where did this gun come from? Uh, so this came back from Israel. Okay. U.S. made and uh, early 60s, late 50s, we were giving them a lot of our surplus stuff. We were re reconfiguring to the M60 and uh, we always kept the, uh, the M2. But, and uh, they were also changing over to the NATO 762 by 51 or a 308 round. So this is a 30 odd six. It's a big round and you can feel the ground shake when we fire this. All right. It pulled my starter tab off. So now I know I'm ready to go. So if you want to see this one, come on down to the museum. Go to the veteransmuseum.org. That's the vetsmuseum.org and plan your trip today.